derivatives of inverse trig functions that you need here. The inverse sine derivative is one divided by one minus x squared. The derivative of inverse cosine x is negative one divided by square root of one minus x squared. Please take a look at the notes as well. And the inverse tangent derivative is one over one plus x squared. The derivative of inverse cotangent is negative one divided by one plus x squared. And when you have inverse secant, the derivative is one divided by absolute value of x. So if your x is positive, you can get rid of the absolute value sign. But in general, you need to have the absolute value sign here, times square root of x squared minus one. And finally, when you have cosecant inverse, the derivative is equal to negative one divided by absolute value of x times square root of x squared minus one. But the question is, what if you have a function, like a composition between that function and the inverse trig? We introduce the rest of the formula. Now you need to apply the chain rule. If you have the inverse sine of f of x, the derivative is f prime of x divided by square root of one minus f of x to the second power. And as you can see for each one of them, instead of having one on the numerator, now you have the derivative of f on the numerator. So please make sure to distinguish between these two sets of formulas. Here you have x, and here on the next page, you have f of x. So we need to have the derivative of f of x applying the chain. For example, here you have the derivative of cosine composed with inverse sine of x. So we want to find this derivative. To find this derivative, it's a composition of two functions. One function, outer function is cosine function, and the inside function is inverse sine. So you're going to apply the derivative of cosine of f of x, which is negative sine of f of x times f prime of x. Note that your f here is inverse sine. So when you're taking the derivative of f, you're basically taking the derivative of inverse sine. And we already know the derivative of inverse sine is 1 divided by square root of 1 minus x squared. So let us take a look at the solution together. The derivative of cosine inverse sine of x is negative sine of inverse sine of x times the derivative of inverse sine, which is 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. But please note that sine composed with an inverse at x is exactly equal to x. The composition of a function and its inverse is equal to identity function. When you have identity of x, it's always equal to x. And I listed the formulas that we use here for you. The important part is the composition of sine with its inverse, which is at x equals to x.